Hi guys, Shaz here, and for those of you who don't know me, I'm the CEO of Ace Viral, which is a mobile game studio with over a billion downloads. I've interviewed thousands of people, employed hundreds, and I've also invested in over 100 startups. And today, I'm here to give you advice on how to be successful in your 20s and going into your 20s, and what mistakes to watch out for, and how to lead your life. Films and TV are telling you that the 20s are the best years of your life. And you know what you need to do? You need to go and have parties and hang out all the time and do silly, silly stuff. Well, your 20s is not about that, really. The truth is, your 20s can be extremely confusing and stressful. You've got a lot of freedom, but you've also got a lot of responsibilities. You should be building up self-discipline without waiting around for too long and just seeing what life does and how it goes and what it brings. Your 20s are like riding a bike, right? So when you first start riding a bike, you're a bit wobbly and you don't know what you're doing, but eventually you're riding it straight and then you're off speeding, right? So your 20s is just like that. If you waste it and you never learn how to ride the bike, you're going to suffer in your 30s, 40s, 50s and later on. You can catch up, but it's well easy in your 20s to do things right. Yeah, you'll have bills, rent and things to pay for in your 20s and you'll have a lot more responsibilities, but if you do it right, the next 10 years can be enjoyable, filled with learning, and you can come out a better person in your 30s. So how many times have you looked at someone and thought, wow, they've got the best life. Maybe it's somebody in your life or in your career field, right? Also, there's a lot of problems on TV and social media these days with people at 19 being a superstar and they've got it all made and they're multimillionaires. That's not how the majority of life is for the majority of people. They'll have their problems too, right? And different people make a success of their life at different times of their life and different ages. It's really unhealthy to compare yourself to others. What you need to be focusing on is just getting better yourself and improving yourself. And while you're there watching this video, smash that like button. Yeah, go on, smash it. It'll help me and it'll help you. And remember this, while you're looking at other people's lives and thinking, wow, I would love their life, I bet you there are hundreds of people out there looking at your life and thinking, wow, I would like his or her life. So never get down. Always think long term. You know, in your 20s or your late teens, it might be the first time you're ever going to have some freedom away from the family and friends and parents. And you'll be looking after your own finances, etc. And it might be really tempting, right? to go out and eat at the restaurant every day, spend all your money on clothes, and just live carefree. But you've got responsibilities now because you're in charge of your own finances and your own life. Doing all these things like, you know, holidays, new clothes, new car, all of that, it might be enjoyable at the time, but it will not improve your life. Put in the work now and you'll be set for life. The more short term you think, the harder life will be and it'll stay the same for longer. You'll never improve, never get better, never get easier. Looking at buying a house, for example, if you don't save up and you just jump in and get a mortgage, you'll be paying that off for longer. I would advise stay with your parents or rent and then save up and then get a mortgage. I know a lot of people think, oh my God, I'm paying all this rent and I could be having this house and it'd be mine and I'd have collateral. You know, instead of getting yourself into all of that debt, spend all that time on leveling up, learning things, spend the money on yourself, getting better taking courses or learning things that will improve you and pay back tenfold in the long run over the years. And especially if you save and you put down a larger chunk of money on a deposit for a house, it'll just mean you have less to pay and less interest to pay and the burden will be a lot less on you. Always take the hard option. A lot of people don't do this until later in life because they don't know about all the benefits they would get by doing it right now. And the sooner you learn this, the easier your life is gonna get. So always take the hard option. Delayed gratification is what I call it. And that's what the world calls it in fact. Delayed gratification is always the best. You know, sometimes you wake up in the morning and you want to snooze your alarm, don't do that. When you get back from work, you might want to just chill and watch a movie, don't do that. Go for a run, go to the gym, Go to boxing, kickboxing, MMA, whatever. And as you do these things, your mental health 
will improve and you'll get wealthy and most importantly you'll get healthy and you'll be able to fight life at whatever it throws at you setting these disciplines in your 20s is going to set you up for a life of discipline and plentifulness so all this will lead to your future self thanking you for putting in all the hard work 10 years ago and you know what you'll have an easier life and you'll be debt free and burden free and you'll have a lot less pain and you'll be used to taking on the hard challenges and the knocks of life and everything will be better because you put in the groundworks and the foundations in your teens and 20s. And finally, one of the most important things that I could ever say to you in this video is don't be hasty. You should work as hard as you can but still stay healthy because no health, no wealth. Doesn't matter if it's like monetary wealth or wealth of freedom, no health, no wealth. So look after your health. If your 20s are over and you're watching this video, don't worry. The average person lives to about 80 years old now. So you've got plenty of time ahead to learn things and improve. And you know what? If you're in your 30s and you think, oh my God, I've wasted my 20s. Well, you can't reverse that and you can't bring those back. But what you can do is not waste your 30s and have some great 40s and you know what if you're in your 40s and you know what you think I've wasted my teens 20s and 30s start now and have a great 40s and 50s and beyond you know we've all heard of Harry Potter you know JK Rowling she didn't write that book until she was 32 so it's never too late you know what before that she was leading an ordinary life and all of a sudden she was a billionaire because she'd been putting in the work with the writing for many years before that. And there's Ricky Gervais. He didn't make it till he was 43 years old. Imagine that. So it's never too late to get started. Success and age are not related. Do not forget this. I hope this video helped you and you found it helpful. Please let me know in the comments. Also, be sure to drop a Ask Shaz hashtag at the bottom and ask me any questions that you like for the next videos. I'm sure I'll answer them. And don't die average and see you next time. Thanks for watching. Like and subscribe. Bye.